Would you say that you had to really put yourselves in the shoes of your characters and empathize with their cause, even though they're doing very unsettling things? Yeah, I think anytime you're playing a bad guy, you find you find what's good in him. You can't just say, "Oh, I'm playing a bad guy," because then you know you're you're sort of judging your character. Mm -hmm. So I think that the best thing you can do is really just justify what he's doing and why he's there. And I certainly think that for my character, I, I justified everything for him, even though it was delusional. And looking at it, you know, I, I made sense. I connected the dots of why he was doing the things he was. You know, every human being has the same motivations. It's, it's about love and connection and to be able to, uh, you know, bring something that's going to make them whole. And for my character, it was about losing his mother to a landmine and watching that and feeling responsible and for even though it wasn't in his, in his control. So making up for that is, is his journey. Antoine is known for doing a lot of research beforehand, and yeah. I know that he wanted to portray everything authentically as though, you know, as it would happen. What did you find most fascinating about the inner workings of the White House? I guess, you know, there's just so much secrecy that goes on with all these agencies, the FBI and the CIA and the Secret Service. Everything feels very top secret and nothing can be talked about. So I, I always find that fascinating because they talk about it anyway. Right. And uh, even though it's considered top secret, we all know. What would you say that you brought to the table, aside from this, you know, what was already in the script? I, I wanted to make them as human as possible and uh, you know, bring up what Antoine called the street credibility right. to, to know um, that somebody like this was really capable. And would you consider it a cautionary tale? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, this is our worst fear. Really, it's one of them. Certainly, not the most worst fear in America, that the White House would be emblazed and uh, terrorists would take over. Certainly, and and our own weapons could be turned against us. That's a big one.